This West Des Moines man is in the Polk County Jail tonight. 25-year-old Sean Kaufman charged with taking advantage of an elderly woman to the tune of $300,000. KCCI's Jason Rattle shows us how the crime was uncovered. Jason? Stacy, the victim is an almost 90-year-old woman who police say suffers from some cognitive issues. Police say Kaufman billed and overbilled her multiple times to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars. For four years, 25-year-old Sean Kaufman did landscaping and handyman work for an elderly woman living on the northwest side of Des Moines. It wasn't until May that someone noticed something was up. It involved um, overbilling. It involved billing the victim for um, services or for um, work that had already been done, uh, bill, bill, billing multiple times for that. Des Moines police say an employee at Wells Fargo Bank in Johnston noticed large transfers of money out of the woman's account and called police. Over a four year period of time, uh, the suspect received over $300,000 worth of, of cash payments and checks written to him. Um, uh, for work that has been estimated at less than $25,000 in value. Detectives got involved to look into the transactions. For seven months, they sorted through financial records. Police ended up placing Kaufman on the Metro's most wanted list. He later turned himself in and was booked in Polk County Jail December 31st. The victim apparently suffers from um, uh, possibly some memory issues or some uh, other issues related to her, her ability to understand what was going on. And our investigation indicates the suspect knew this. Kaufman's latest project was fixing the woman's garage, a project he had yet to finish. Unfortunately, a lot of this money is already gone. Um, so, um, you know, there's probably a uh, somewhat limited chance that, that she will recover all of her money that's been lost. Now, we did speak with the victim today. She called Kaufman a nice person and did not believe he had overcharged her. Police ended up seizing a pickup truck they say Kaufman bought with her money. As for further restitution, police say they could freeze bank accounts of Kaufman's connected to the woman's lost money. Live in the newsroom, Jason Rantala, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.